Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I wanted to share with you guys, uh, this past weekend we had the uh, Comic Entertainment Expo here in Saskatoon at uh, Prairieland Park. And I went there on Sunday, um, got there about 2 o'clock um, with my cousin Evan who drove all day, pretty much Saturday, and never got home till like quarter to 3 in the morning. But um, he wanted to come so he... He came, and I'm glad that he came. My fiance came as well. Um, even though that she's not much into those comic books and stuff like that, uh, but I'm glad that she came. Um, pretty much, I've heard about Comic Con in the states. I've heard that they're really um, big in the, in the states. Um, so this was my first one, and supposedly this was the actual first major um, comic uh, entertainment expo here in Saskatoon. So that was actually pretty cool. They had a few guest stars. Uh, the only one that I recognized was uh, Sabretooth. I don't know really the guy, person's name, the real name is, but um, he was there. And we were there about 2 o'clock till pretty much 5. And I think that was long enough for my fiance um, because I could not see her staying there from 10 o'clock in the morning till 5. Um, but it was quite awesome. Um, they had a few t shirts there. One venue had two for 50, the other one had two for 45. Um, so I bought this one. This is actually uh, the original Black Ranger. Um, Walter Jones, who played as Zack Taylor on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, and then my cousin Evan bought a few uh, Kingdom of Hearts t-shirts, and they were actually pretty cool. Um, so this is the only thing I bought, um, unfortunately. Um, really never bought that much money with me. I just wanted to buy one thing, and this was it. Um, so they had the pink ranger, you know, they had the blue ranger, they had the white ranger, green ranger, red ranger, yellow ranger. Um, hum like, oh, lots of comic book t-shirts, like Spider-Man, Hulk. They had the Big Bang, they had uh, Law & Order Special Victims Unit, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and it was quite impressive. Um, they had like, these big humongous posters. Uh, like Legend of Zelda and some other um, anime movies that my cousin remembered or recognized and I'm like, huh? <laughs> like I'm kind of coming into my anime but I don't, like I'm not a hardcore anime like my cousin Evan, like he's like diehard anime. Um, but that was pretty cool. He bought some few posters and stuff like that. Uh, one venue guy I saw had a few uh, NES and Super NES games. And then they had he had a few box games, um, nothing out, uh, nothing new out of the uh, ordinary, um, like Rainbow Six on the N sixty four. That was I heard that was pretty bad game. And F one Formula One racing. Um, the only one I would have bought would have probably would have got was NASCAR two thousand, and that was about it. Um, and then they had like a few um, like Power Ranger belts, like crap all the kinds like red and all that stuff um and then they had a few like dragon swords uh, i think the like the new new not the original um mega swords that one the original box is like way back in 1995 when they were like 30 bucks because i was talking to a venue and i said you know it's kind of funny and he's like what's that i said well when these things were out they're like 30 dollars and my, my parents at the time thought that was quite expensive to uh, spend 30 bucks on a toy and now they're up to like they had one was at 120 the other one was like 140 so and then they had like the power engine morphin thing uh above i think i don't know how much of money i couldn't see the price tag as well and then he's like yeah we have figures and i'm like oh cool you know i think i saw them like those boxes he's like yeah so that's cool but i was not gonna spend like 50 bucks on a small figurine that i'm gonna have I probably would just have them on display, but um, I don't have a place to put them. So to me, I'm not going to waste money if I got no place to put them. Um, but it was an awesome experience, and it was pretty cool to see. Um, they're coming back next year, September 18th and 19th of 2015. Um, this weekend, they sh I think they're going to um, Edmonton. And then Calgary's going to get one next year as well, I think in August. So if you see this video, it's called the Comic Entertainment Expo. 
Um, it's actually a pretty cool experience if you haven't if you haven't had a chance to go to the states to those ones. I know the states are a lot bigger than the ones in Canada. I think they're just trying to um, expand to Canada. Um, it was actually a big tunnel. I talked to one venue and he said he was quite impressed. Supposedly they had a small one last year, but the people that did it this year just went all out. So hopefully they do it next year. Um, but I wanted to share with, share that with you guys. It's Comic Entertainment Expo. It's my first time there and I had a blast. So um, if you haven't had a chance to go this year, definitely go next year. It's the 18th and 19th, I believe. I'll have it on my description below. And um, hopefully you guys can make it next year. And it was actually quite cool. So if you look pretty much into comic books and all that stuff, like anime and um, all, all that awesome stuff, That's de this is definitely for you. Because it was quite cool to go back and see my childhood of Power Rangers and all that. So it was quite fun. Um, even though that, you know, if some people might be in their 30s. Like I'm 29 years old and I had a blast. So no matter how old you are, sometimes you can still act like a little kid a little bit. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share, share that with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, we'll see you in future videos.